MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, I think this series has played out exactly how we expected it to. At two games to one, it's been tightly contested back and forth. We've got two teams worthy of being here, and I think this will go at least six games before it's all said and done. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on MLB Network, and we'll have it all for you next. Home side about to take the field. This place is jumping. Here's public address announcer Alex Miniak. Ladies and gentlemen, you. Los Angeles Dodgers. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad, or they'll walk out of here three, four game set, 0 for 12, 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves, line drive approach. One will carry out of here if they get it. Julio Arias will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times he can be good, and at times he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up in this one here today. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And let's focus on Corey Seager. Cal Ripken Jr., anyone? This guy looks like this spitting image of Iron Man. I think he's just scratching the surface of a Hall of Fame career. Multiple MVPs, gold gloves, you name it. Corey Seager is on fire. We want to Boston, First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, strike one. First pitch, 707. Now the 0 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he darn near started this thing off with a bang. Instead, it's a foul ball. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well Bueller. executed, Matt. A yeah. classic strikeout yeah. pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sharp ground ball to third. And there's out number two. Second third. The first baseman. Tiny Thurman. Now at the plate, Tiny Thurman. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. 
First delivery to him on the way. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Eric Summersgill behind the dish. Really likes to work the ball east-west. What did you like? Did you like north-south, east-west? I, I thought east-west, Dero. The more I could get away with on the outside corner, inside corner, give me a wider plate than a higher plate. I think it's a lot easier to pitch to a wider plate. The 1-1. One, one. Is a breaking ball that misses off the plate. Now oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. That gets down and the inning will continue. And a good job to get to it quickly and get it back in. That'll hold him to a two out single. I have a feeling that our show track data will be eye popping off that line drive and the returns are in. The exit velocity was 118 miles an hour. So the bat speed and contact quality had to be top notch there. In now King Kobayashi as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away the 1 0 home and this one's in the dirt and boy he didn't quite know what to do on that one but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Two well count. The pitch is looked at for the first strike. Now the two one popped him up. Muncie is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, I know these guys love what Justin Turner brings to their offense. This is the guy you wanted to play when the game is on the line. He thrives in these situations. It's almost like he goes to bed and says, I can't wait to play because the game is going to come down to me and I'm going to make something happen. He thrives on performing in the big moments. Boris Kishnik is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? If you want to pick up a win, as a starting pitcher you have to go five innings to get the win and that's just what he did the last one I'm sure he'd like to be out there for a little bit longer in this one we go for the Dodgers the center fielder AJ Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, Ball one inside. taken just off the inside. One oh count. Here it is. Hit on the ground out to short. The dude right there. And that's out number one. Here's David Freeze to stand in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. A ball and a strike.
Here it comes on one and one. Hit on the ground toward the left. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number two hitter came through right there with the single, setting the table for the big boys. Standing in now, Cody Bellinger. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. A one count. Here's the pitch. Down and away, ball one. one. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Ball Two balls and a strike. Freeze. A runner at first with one gone in the inning. Can't find Whoa, the zone the there, deal. and it's three and one. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And that misses ball four. So it's first and four. second now with only one away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. This is the guy they're going to have to be careful with. He could put three runs on the board in a hurry. So expect them to try to get him to chase something out of the zone if they can. Oh, Trying to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. But a foul ball. One and one. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You could pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Ball three. Trying to shave that outside corner three with ball. the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? The 3-1. Takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and nearly a three run shot. Instead it's a foul ball. This is on the ground over the first and that will get on through in the right field for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. Into the box, Justin Turner looped out toward third, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. Batting sixth, no fielder. Stepping into the box, Jock Peterson. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Two out, base is loaded. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side.
The one two pitch. Two and two. Two and three. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Dodgers leave them loaded. We are still scoreless. to lead off the inning. First delivery to him on the way. And that's in there for strike one. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. The plate, one ball, one strike. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting six, the shortstop, Ronnie, the dude. Now with the plate, Ronnie, the dude, he'll get to take his first cuts here. First offering on its way. Fouled off. away into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and they'll try to tempt him with a curveball but this bounces in front of the plate and it's one and two tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there but he wasn't biting very well could see it again here though That was swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective, and that's exactly what he did right there. Into the box now, Chester Fielder, as he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1 0. Fly ball out toward left center field. Peterson has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Coming to the plate now, number 16. Ready to get his day at the plate started right here. Number 16. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. This is popped up. And there's the first out. The shortstop, Corey Seager.
comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing ball pitch. One, no Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Hard hit ball to short. The dude comes up with it. And quickly, there oh. are two away. The second baseman, number nine. Into the box now, number nine. He stands in for the first time in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And that's right there, and we're even at one. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Cutter got up on him pretty quickly there, and it's back to even two and two. Here now the 2-2. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. pitch coming here it is showing bunt here but he takes ball one runs outside so it goes to 2 and 0 oh now boy he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me his numbers in recent games have been very good and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitters count and he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So after the leadoff base hit, they'll have his wheels to contend with here. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Stepping in now, Maxwell Wolverine, as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. The 0 1 low of the fastball here in the dirt, even. It's ball one. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Toward second pitch outside the throw. Not in time as the offline throw allows him to get in there easily. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move, and it worked out nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. He's set. Here's the 3 1. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Coming to the plate now, Major Dirtbag. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. From the stretch. 
and he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Ratto at second. Wolverine on at first with nobody out. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner. And I mean just off the corner. The 1-2. And it's fouled away. First and second here with nobody out. Now a curveball misses inside. That curveball stayed up in the zone. You'll see that often early in the game where a pitcher's trying to find that release point, particularly with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he's able to settle down as this game moves on. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Try it 2-2. Two, two. This is foul right side. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that once, and now we go full count. Hey, we all love home runs and gappers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. Another full count pitch home. And another foul ball. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. Chopper to short. Reined in. And that's the first out. Now batting the center fielder. Kid. Stepping in, Kid Lackawalla, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know we swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here. But if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Lined hard and deep down the left field line. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. Third inning, no score to this point. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not nice. in time as the run scores. Got his job yeah, done there and made it look baseball. pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Now at the play, Tiny Thurman. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line drive to left. 
Peterson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Red Sox settle for just the one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Red Sox one and the Dodgers nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next is center fielder A.J. Pollock. The center fielder A.J. Here comes the first pitch. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Not looking good after being down 0 2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. And he got him. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. In there, no balls and a strike. A base hit in his first trip. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, fielder, two gone. Right fielder, Cody Bellinger. Digging in for his second at bat, Cody Bellinger. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty, power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. That's out to left. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Dodgers. They trail this one, one to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, King Kobayashi. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Changeup laid off down around the shins. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Two balls and two strikes now. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. 
Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. He'll throw down to first, one away. Standing in, Franz Franchise. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 0. Popped him up. Number 16 over to his right. Two down. Now batting. Shortstop. Ronnie. The dude. Digging in. Ronnie the dude. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. Oh, he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. But they hold a 1-0 lead. Now batting, Max Muncy. He reached on a single in his first Leading try. For the Dodgers, the first baseman, Max Muncy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a cold strike. One and one to the Dodgers' first baseman. And he misses two and one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Pitch to the plate is a splitter that misses, so he's behind in the count now, three and one. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off yet. And that's through for another base hit. We'll make it two for two in this one. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Standing in now, Justin Turner, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Now the 1-0. Line towards center field. Lactawalla is there, and he has it for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The fielder, number 21. Striding into the box, Jock Peterson. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and a borderline call, Maddie. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B. See how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. In the dirt, and now let's see. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2-2. Popped straight up. Kieschnick waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. 
Dodgers go down quietly. They're down one nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Chester Fielder. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Pollock at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Had a long way to go to make that running catch, and here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it, showed nice closing speed, and ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Into the box, Juan Rado. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled off. Rado swings a very capable bat against left handed arms like this, even though he doesn't usually show a ton of power. He does put the bat on the ball, however, and of course his plus speed helps him pick up a lot of hits. Yeah, and that's what I love about him. He knows his skill set and he stays within himself and doesn't try and do too much. He understands what he's capable of, hits the ball on the ground, line drives, maybe a gapper for a triple, and puts the defense on their heels. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. He went with the off speed there once he got him the 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. Next up for the Red Sox, Maxwell Wolverine. He drew a walk his first time up. And the pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Two out, nobody on. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're up one to nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus we and energy high. All right, the thanks, Heidi. Number 16. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Fielder on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter, number five. Shortstop, Corey Seager. Next up for Los Angeles, Corey Seager. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Seeger stands at six foot four inches tall, bats left, throws right. He was a first round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. No runs, three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, you have to love it when your defense picks you up right there, keeping him at the first batter. base. Boy, the D-roll, that looked like it had extra bases written all over. Great job by the left fielder to get to that ball and get the ball back in, keeping that to a single. Into the box now, number nine, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Down and away, ball one. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They still trail 1-0. Digging in once again, Major Dirtbag. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. dropped out on him and that's a strikeout number 16 goes to get it so all in all they'll have a man aboard after the strikeout so not the start now to the batting. inning he was looking the for as he got the strikeout yeah. but the runner reaches Lots anyway ready for another shot now kid Lactawalla leadoff man on base and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here First pitch of the at bat. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at bats for this team right now. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Pollock is right there, one down. Now batting, the first baseman, Tiny Thurman. So digging in now, Tiny Thurman. Now we'll snap one off hey. over to the bag, and he's back standing.
On its way is pitch number 75. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. The 1 0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count, 2 0. Now a swing, and this ball is crossed straight away center field. And off the batter side for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Two run shot to straight away center, his second home run of the series, as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Kenta Maeda, a six Your foot one inch right hander, will be the one now to get the call from the, the bullpen here. Number 18, Kenta Maeda. In now, King Kobayashi. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. Oh, and that ball is absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back. Home runs. So a solo shot down the line in left, his second home run of the series, as the Red Sox open it up even further. It's now 4 0. That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that'll get people talking. Stepping in now, Franz Franchise. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. One and one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a line drive, but foul. The one two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Number 16 is after it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Well, you now know you made a real nice pitch when you stop. bounce it in the dirt Money. and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Doughboy, Stu will come pinch on now as the Boston. pinch hitter. Number five, Doughboy, Stu. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Three runs already home here. Three Swing runs. and a miss, one and one.
Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. One ball, two strikes, Miguel. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. The two two is looked at and the count moves full. And he lays off ball four so he comes right off the bench and works the walk usually easier said than done. Well the reason power now hitters generally draw the more walks than other guys is yes, exactly sir. what we saw right fielder. there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Ready once again Chester Fielder he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air out to center field. Pollock has a read on it. And that retires the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Red Sox lead it four to nothing. Doughboy, Stu will stay in the ball change, game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop. Number five. Now back to the Still top of the lineup, five. stepping in, A.J. Pollock. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order Rudy has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered the one hit fielder. to the top three guys AJ. in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. He's set. Here it comes. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dirtbag on the move. Reaches out. Oh, no, he dropped it. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. Runner at second now as a result of the error. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, David Freeze. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Pollock stands at second with no outs. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Hey, two tough pitches right there and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base, you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down oh, on only four pitches. Right and what I liked about Curry. all of those pitches, what they were Bellinger. down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Standing in now, Cody Bellinger. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Bellinger, 23 years old. He was a fourth round selection back in the draft of 2013. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. The batter, the first baseman, Max. 
So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max Muncy. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. No runs, four hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. Here it comes on one and one. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two out here and a runner at second. Three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. This runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him, and it just got away. Next for the Dodgers, Justin Turner, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's set and the pitch. A ball and no strikes. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. 2-0 to the Dodgers DH. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. It was obvious when the count ran to two and O oh that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick Peterson. your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Here's Jock Peterson now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So his final ledger will show just five and two-third innings of work, but he did what he needed to do in this one. Move the tunnel. Answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. A defensive change for the Red Sox. First offering on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Tuttle typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to attack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty B, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Dodgers leave them loaded. They trail here four to nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Joe Kelly is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Digging in now, Juan Rado 
Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Mine toward the alley in left center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks now like batting. to me that the, the moment stop. isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Into the box, Maxwell, Wolverine, swing and a liner, foul. One and two to the Boston shortstop. One and two. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. In now, Major Dirtbag, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Kelly is facing his old colors in this one. He was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, Matty, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game, or he showed up here with an axe to grind. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Ratto stands at first with one out. Runner goes per second. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He's running again. Swung on and belted. Two run shot to straight away center his first homer so far in the series as they pile on it's now six to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one guys. You know Dero looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today Dan. Let's see if this trend now continues. The center fielder. Good. Stepping in now, Kid Lackawalla, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Hit down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Now the 0-2 pitch, and he won't offer it that too high. One and two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Misses, ball two. 
Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. The 2-2 two -two is laid off on for ball number three. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Wow, he almost blew that fastball by him, but he showed some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Into the box now. Tiny Thurman. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. Runner goes for third. Pitch misses the throw down. second and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play the batter the designated hitter King Kobayashi so here's the cleanup hitter King Kobayashi the last at bat Matty D we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter he got a fastball and didn't miss it we'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down one and one. A man on third with two down. Two and one. The two one home is looked at for ball three. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The 3-1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now the three and two pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The three, two, one more time. Hard on the ground towards short. Seeger scoops it up. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Red Sox six, and the Dodgers nothing. Into the box, number 16. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Rado takes it in, and there's one away. Not a no lot matter. you can Number do with five. that pitch. That fastball Shortstop. just ate him up Corey. inside and gets the soft Seager. grounder for the out. 
Here's Corey Seeger, a hit in two tries for him so far. First offering on its way. No nope. breaking ball, but it's low. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. And it's one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taking all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Count still at one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dirtbag will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now batting, number nine. Now at the plate, number nine. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch coming, here it is. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0 and 2. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Fielder ranging back. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series, and they're on the board. It's six to one. AJ Fielder. Does it look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one? He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Fielder. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Red Sox six and the Dodgers one. Your attention, please. Now, so a new pitcher is set Dodgers, to enter the ball game right now, and it's the converted catcher, Ken the hard-throwing right-hander Ken Lee Jansen. Into the box now, Franz Franchise. For the Red Sox, the catcher, Franchise. From the stretch. Nope. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Here's
Here comes the 2 0 pitch. 3 and 0 now. The 3 0. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Three of those pitches were definitely out the of the zone, but that last pitch five. looked pretty darn good, good to me. Boy. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and oh, though. You have to earn that spot. In now, Doughboy, Stu, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Franchise aboard here at first with nobody out. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. From the belt, kicks and deals. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Popped him up. Freeze has a play. One out. Visiting Red Sox on top in the eighth the inning as you get a look at the line Fielder. score to this point. Fielder. Digging in to try it again. Chester Fielder. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled away. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. Runner at first here, one man out. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two called. Now this is slowly hit to short probably too slowly to get to to second for one and nearly a double play that was closer than I thought it would be and the inning will continue so that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. yeah choppers like that make it really tough you can't make the ball get to you much faster so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one which they did there. Pitch. Pitch inside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Back with more of game four on MLB Network right after this. Your Big Daddy please. Sweat is on now the pitch out of the, the bullpen Sox. in the bottom half Number of the eighth. 88. Big Daddy Sweat. Stepping into the box, David Freeze. He'll lead it off with the boys in blue here in the eighth at Dodger Stadium. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Ah. 
And a strike to even the count. One and one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. The 1-1 one, one home is strike two swinging. I couldn't get the knuckleball to come back down there high for a ball. Drilled to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in, Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Hits this one hard the other way. Stu fields it cleanly. And there are two away now. And that will bring up the versatile Max Muncy. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, and they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. He's set. Here it comes. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Here it comes, 0-2. It's sharply but foul down the right side. Stays alive, still 0-2. two once more this is hit the other way out toward left field and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over so they're held in check here this half of the inning we're through eight full here in game four it's the Red Sox six and the Dodgers one Ladies Scott and Alexander you enters from the pen to start the ninth inning now as he'll try to keep the, the score right where it is Number heading to the bottom of the ninth Scott. Here comes the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. The 0 1. Behind 0 2 now. Here's the 0 and 2. Line softly toward the hole. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the, the shortstop batter, right 10. there to leave his feet Short and try stop. and make that throw to Maxwell. first base. Wolverine. Got to be frustrated a little bit as a pitcher. You executed your spot. Well, I tell you what, you know, I, well, as soon as you throw one like that, Dero, you see your shortstop get a glove on it. You're thinking, okay, maybe he has a shot to get him, but that's a long throw after that jump throw and a solid infield base hit, but very frustrating as a pitcher. Sacrifice attempt here. One there. On to first. Oh, Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. 
That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Stepping in now, Major Dirtbag, as he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Swing and a hot shot toward third, and that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Not every day that you see a ball come off the bat like that one did. And looking at it again on show track, we see it a lot faster than it came in. 113 miles an hour. Couldn't have hit that one much better than that. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Kid Lactawalla. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Shot toward right center, and that's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's an 8-1 to one ball game. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another. Some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. So striding in, Tiny Thurman. He's two for four in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. Throw to Muncy to finish the double play. That retires the side. So two runs on three hits. No errors. And no one left on base. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Boston's out in front. Eight to one. Striding forward now is the D.H. Justin Turner starting Ooh, things for his Ford side Dodgers. in the ninth as they the face the hitter. improbable odds Justin. of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. He's set and the pitch. Off the plate, Fastball ball just misses. That's ball one. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. The fielder number 31, John Peterson. Striding in once again, Jock Peterson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Gets ahead with a knuckleball right over the outside corner. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dirtbag is there, and there are two men gone now. Now batting, number 16. Ready for another chance, number 16. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa. Too high, 1-0. Count one and zero. 
Knuckleball taken inside for a strike. Up high, two and one now. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. He's got it, and the Red Sox are going to take a commanding three games to one lead here in the series as this ball game is over. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the order. They absolutely cruised to a seven-run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our tops player of the game. And Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. Eight to one is the final tonight. The Red Sox move a win away from a championship as they've taken a three to one series lead. Boris Kishnik pitches well enough to get the W. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Eight runs, ten hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.